again because you know what that that's 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 my life right now I need I need to get this all down <laughs> so we are going to work on uh, controlled landings today <laughs> kind of hopefully and I'm gonna make sure that everything's working and we'll get right to it I can't hear the music Oh, is there not any going? Maybe I should. Okay. Oh, I do hear it. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alrighty. Huh. So, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, oh, I have to get my. Haha. <laughs> eh, come here. It's a good thing I have long limbs. Alright. Uh, Nyum. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> eh? And then we track IR. And go. It's all messed up. Go. Okay. Perfect. Kind of, maybe. We'll see. And, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. We're going to... I have it set up so that... Well, we'll just do this first. Well, why am I moving? Why am I moving? Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not starting anything. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah, this is why, okay, I need, to, I need to get this right. Make sure you don't leave the mags in when the plane is still hot. Huh? Maybe? Is that, is that what it is? Why? I meant, okay, first, first. First track IR. No, 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 because I was practicing with little Snoopy. There you go. Stop. Go away. I don't need you to do all of this stuff. I was practicing to make sure I could get ATC. Oh, and now no one's flying the plane. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Already a disaster. Okay. So, I was practicing to try and get the ATC to come in um, so that I, yeah, could practice. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let's check. Our visibility is above 10. We're good. Thanks for taking that away so I can't see it. Uh, I saw wind 300 at something. We'll check the METAR. Okay. So, no, 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 Get off. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I put it for one flight just so that I could try and get things to work, and now you're... Hang on. Options assistance. Piloting. Yes. Radio communications. Yes. Hello. My assistant stuff is on. Eh. I, I just turned on the radio communications. And so I did. I put it on for one, just a little bit, just so that I could let the thing do the thing while I was doing the other things, which is very descriptive, I know. But now it's doing it every time I... Oh, I wonder if it's because I'm restarting the same... The same one. Maybe I need to re restart the... Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to restart quick. And maybe it won't have the AI on once I get a new thing here. So I go here. And I go here. And I think that... Uh, that doesn't look like the right one. Okay, perhaps it is. So these aren't very interesting. Well, I mean, maybe they're interesting airports. No, that's not the one I wanted. Nope, I want this one. Because I wanted a an uncontrolled to a delta. And I just kind of zoomed in and found one. Because that's what I'm going to have to be doing. So we're just going to do a parking. I don't know what that means, but we're going to go for it. So hopefully the AI is not on this time. So hello, how's it going? Oh, oh and now why is my mm, track iron not looking like it's working? Oh, God. I actually, ugh. I actually tried to get this stuff working beforehand. So. We got over 10 miles of visibility. 
Five knots for a three, three, six. Okie dokie. No, 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 no. Okay, so it's just, oh gosh, darn it. You know what? Screw it. What is it? Where is it? What is this? This one? No. Stop it. Where is it? This one. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Hello. Okay. What are you doing and why can't I find the thing again now? Chuck is good. Pilot. No. No. Now where's the thing that let me do the thing? Oh my gosh. I wanted all of this taken care of. Aircraft systems. A gyro, no. User experience. Uh. No. No. Oh. Okay. We're going to try that then. No, that's probably not correct, is it? We're just going Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh, what's happening? Eh. Uh. Hang on. Or I could just let myself crash and see what happens. Boom. No, no, okay. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> this was supposed to be to the, okay, now why is it? I don't need you to tell me what Ugh. Okay We're good Okay Can I fly the plane now? We're gonna go through our checklist We're gonna get started We're gonna go through our checklist And hope things work Oh gosh darn it Alright So Starting We take our control lock off We turn on our master Boopity boop We turn on all our lights I don't wanna click all that stuff We're gonna put our flaps down Boopity boop 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 we're going to... No. I think this... I think I set this up a while ago and I never changed it. So it should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> Uh, okay. What was I doing? I am doing my track IR. Which is here. And it is there. And we exit. And we exit. And we flaps. What is the deal? Are you flipping kidding me? Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, no, uh-huh. No, yes. No, no.
What? Isn't oops, shoot. Uh No 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 no. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Uh, oops, not that one. Yet. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and that's not correct. For the love. Wait, 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 I was... Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We're gonna try this again. Why is it? No, 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 no. You. To you. You are gonna start uh, this one. No, and that's not. <laughs> Great content, I know. Uh, okay. <sighs> Ay. We're gonna get it. <laughs> and if we can't get the flaps, I'll just use the flaps. How no and stop. Wait, uh, the button was D. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what? What? But I'm getting the Asobo treatment. How do I fix it? All right. Oh my gosh. What? I literally all I like all I all I did was I had the flight going and I was trying to get the voices, so I set it on auto so that I didn't have to deal with it and now I don't get the auto option on here. So what is this garbage? <laughs> Am I doing a pre-selected flight or just world map? Just world map. Literally, again, that's... Oh, gosh. Uh, now I can't... Okay. Go away. Go away. Breaks off. There. So it is. What I think it is, I don't know why it's doing it like the... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to add something, don't I? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 that's why. That's why. Ah, ah, that's why. Ah, and then I turn this off. Little schnite. There it is. Okay, that's, I, I get that bit now. Okay. Ah, and now my flaps work. Okay, okay, we're in business. Oh, taxing me out. Yes. So, I did. I was setting things up, trying to get the voices to work, and then without the subtitles and everything, and I didn't have everything set up, so I couldn't do it so I just put it on auto and then yeah and then I did that thing and didn't real yeah okay so now we're gonna do pilot stuff because that's why we're here so and we're gonna go back to track IR we're gonna go like that we're gonna boom all right excellent okay we're back here we go we're gonna work on some delta landings we're going from an uncontrolled airport bopping over to a Delta controlled airport because that's what I'm gonna have to do. 
And so we're going to do this first. So we took the control lock off. We put on the master switch. We turn all our lights on. We put the flaps down. Boopity boop boop boop. We check our oil gauges, which we would, yeah, we'd probably put more in, but whatever. Excellent. Outside we go. We're going to check the lights. Good. 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 Excellent. And then we go back inside and good. And then we go out and we, eh, doop, 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 doop. We, uh, <laughs> Drain a little bit from the tank on this side. We drain a little bit from the tank on this side. Make sure there's no water. Make sure there's no sediment. Excellent. Perfect. We check the static uh, port here and all the other bits. The pito uh, thing there. My stuff is still pink because I don't have time. Uh, and the drain bit there. The vent here. We check our flaps. We check our aileron screws we check our antennas our baggage door uh because some people don't lock it and we check our elevator make sure that's attached check our rudder make sure that's attached elevator both sides plus the trim check the flaps and the ailerons on this side make sure all those screws are there and everything's attached what will water look like a little bubble uh, I am a student pilot. I am coming up potentially to my check rides, so I should know some things, hopefully. <laughs> Try and stump me, you probably will. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to look like a little bubble, and um, on the bottom of the, uh, I guess I'm not sure what you call the actual tube that you drain it for, but the little tube will have a little bubble uh, for water. What if it's all water? It will not have that tinge of blue that the fuel must have. It will also not smell like fuel. I've also heard that there is a taste test, but I'm not willing to try that. Emergency procedures for engine failure immediately after takeoff. Okay, uh, failure immediately after takeoff is if it's below 1,000 feet, I'm going to land straight ahead. And if it's above 1,000 feet, I'm going to go and try and get back to the runway. Maybe. Hopefully. That, I mean, that's part of my... Um, uh, before takeoff thing. So what if it's at night? Haven't done that yet. We haven't, we haven't gone over that bit yet because yeah, I, I probably won't be go. Uh, yeah. So soloing at night or flying at night by, by myself. If it's at night. Um, okay. I'm going to try and figure it out actually. So, um, a thousand before below or above a thousand feet or both. Because if it's below 1,000 feet, I assume you're going to try to land straight ahead still. If it's above 1,000 feet, and again, if it's at night, maybe that's still straight ahead because you don't have as good a visual. For fuel. Wait, what? What if it's at night for fuel? I'm confused. For fuel. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. What will water look like uh, at night uh, for fuel? You sniff it. Maybe. You take a flashlight out and you and a flashlight that's not going to blind you and you check it. <laughs> yes, I would assume so. I hope so. As you tell me how I'm wrong, I'm going to keep going on my... Oh, okay. You were talking about the color of the fuel. Sure. Yes. Um, again, flashlight? <laughs> Proper flashlight. But, and then again, sniff test. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, so we have drained a little bit. Uh, we check the oil, make sure that's at about six. We drain from the sump, if that is what that is. Um, just a little bit, make sure that's all good. Nice, and for a 152 pilot operating handbook, we do pitch for 60 knots, find landing zone, if time permits, secure engine. Fuel valve off, flaps as required, ignition off, master off. Yes, so I'm going to have to go over the actual checklist for that again. Um, so that's what I said was just what uh, we do for our run-up um, abort plan sort of a thing. So I will have to go over those again. Uh, oh, check it against a uh, white background. Right, you can also dip paper in it. Right, fuel leaves an oily residue. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to have to remember that. This little 152 model is very nice. Or 150. Uh, yes, I believe this one's a 152. I'm training the sim in this one because it's closer to the 172 that I train in because mine's old. Uh, oh, and pop the door. Yes. Yes, I do remember that. But yeah, I haven't. I haven't gone over those in a while. Um, I actually did my long solo cross country over the weekend, so I was working on that. And now I have to work on my landings control tower call thing. So that's what I've been working on. I haven't been working on the other things that I should be doing. But we're working on it, little by little. Uh, check the propeller. Make sure there's no cracks or anything that'll break off. The belt, nice and tight. Check the exhaust. Make sure it doesn't wiggle. Clear uh, air intake. Uh, make sure the nose wheel is properly where it should be and go up make sure there is enough fuel visually in the tanks and I believe that is all that is on my checklist so I will check though to make I will check the checklist yeah luckily I didn't have to do any emergency procedures on my long solo so yeah so it was okay it went well it was it was sort of an expand expanding the map of possibilities situation and it did it was I enjoyed it it was it was nice it was good I feel like that gave me a bit more confidence than just the general first solo did or even just like the little local stuff just because it was it was putting everything together and being like I can actually kind of do this so yeah where is my checklist there it is okay Fuel quantity, quality, capstrain sense, engine oil belt, prop, air intake, exhaust system, stall indicator, services and controls, pitot static, gear tires, brakes, and tennis ties, trucks, baggage door, walk around, final, blah, blah, blah. All right, so flying in MFS sim help a lot. Uh, it depends. Um, for the actual controls, absolutely not. <laughs> At least in my experience, just because it's a little finicky, my stuff's a little slippery. Um, but for the concepts and getting familiar with yeah, concepts, I wouldn't even say visual just because so, some of that's a little bit iffy too. Just because like things are further away for me and yeah, that sort of a thing. But yes, definitely concepts and getting familiar with uh, working, again, the, the procedures and everything. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, is I'm going to work on the delta control pattern for the landings I need to do, get done my requirements. So, yeah, so it's it's that sort of a thing. Um, don't take the how this stuff moves um, for how the actual plane moves at all. So, yeah, at least that, yeah, that's what I've, that's what I've experienced and that's what I've heard from other people too. Guess we'll continue using a chair flying poster. Yes, save the 200 bucks setup. <sighs> sure, I guess maybe. <laughs> it, I mean, there's a lot of good people too that help. Hey, hey Charlie, how's it going? <laughs> um, but I, I, I guess it is. It, it is helpful to agree to a degree because then you do get like cross country stuff is nice uh figuring out that pilotage stuff um and but it is it's definitely it's definitely up to you especially because so are you are you training then too um because i guess if you are if you're uh thinking about um costs and stuff definitely go for the gear rather than the uh um sim stuff but it it has it has been it has been helpful in those uh, situations for kind of getting more of the awareness of how it's going to be apart from the actual controls, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, the chair flying stuff absolutely helps too. And then you aren't, you aren't fighting with your controls, which is something that I do a lot, apparently. Okay, so I get my Hobbs time and I check, make sure fuel's on both circuit breakers, none of them are popped. Brakes and pedal test, doopity doop, boppity bop, awesome. Get a lot more out of the sim than a poster. Yes, yeah, some things that don't transfer well. Right, and that's something that I, 
I have. I've said this before that I do sometimes I get a little wary of using the sim just because I'm I and it, it could it just be could it could just be me um, that I'm very particular about how things feel and I feel like it'll give me bad habits. But it it has. It has been incredibly helpful in a lot of other ways too. Oh, and then passenger brief. Hello, passengers. Um, seatbelts on. Keep your seatbelts on at all times, and here's how you use them. Uh, exits out to the doors to the left and right. Here's how you use those. Uh, keep your feet off the pedals, and don't do anything weird with the yoke. No talking during takeoff and landing. And again, if we lose power on rollout, stop on the runway. If we lose power after takeoff, uh, we'll land directly ahead. If it's below a thousand feet and above a thousand feet, we'll try and get back to the runway. Um, yeah, that's that. Okay, seat track, make sure that's good, excellent. Avionics off, autopilot off, car peep off, beacon on, prime it, yes, excellent, excellent. And then we put our mixture full rich, wonderful. Slight throttle, brakes, clear prop, uh, master it on, and magnetos. Beautiful. Simmed for 11 years before you started your actual flight training. Uh, RW, I'm not sure what that means. Training t teaches a lot of things you don't get in the sim unless you have people that will work with you. Okay. And even then, there are just some things that you can't get from sim. Right. So, so it is. There is. There's a lot of benefit to it. It just depends on whether that's going to be... I don't know. It, it, whether it's going to be work for you whether that like you said two hundred dollars whether what you get out of it is going to be worth that and that's going to i don't know that's going to be dependent real world right okay sounds <laughs> so many acronyms uh, so yeah so it, it it does it depends on how much how much you do have to burn and how and yeah what the value is going to be for you specifically individually plus it is a lot of fun when you're just when you're just doing it uh, checking my oil pressure, making sure my flap oops, yep, flaps are up. Avionics would go on, which it already did. Get my nav lights on, do my frequencies and my ATIS, which um no. Shoot, it's not gonna give me one. That's okay. We'll do it. We'll get that one once we start off for Colombia. And I do not remember what this airport is called. I think it's like Elton Henley or something. And we're not going to use that for now because I don't need that because it's uncontrolled. I have no idea where I'm going. All right. How to establish proper glide path. Right. Sim won't teach you that unless you have someone working with you. All little intrinsic stuff when to start your checklists, how to communicate. Yes. And, and that was going over again long 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 cross country it was it was putting all those things together and there were there were i i do i have a lot of questions that i'm gonna ask my instructor that are somewhat little things but they do end up being important and it is something that you don't you don't get from because well and with this atc you can do it in the sim but you either need real world training yes or someone to work with you at it in sim right right yes oh absolutely absolutely so yeah <laughs> always make sure you get a real instructor <laughs> um but but yeah so like even the the atc that i'm going to be working with right now it, it's funny one of the i remember the first time when i was starting to do the radio stuff right at the beginning and it the thing in the sim is it uses the icao code <laughs> for the airports and I have never never seen or heard that done at any point during my training or anything that I've watched it's always like either the name of the airport or the name of the city so it's stuff like that where it, it is it's those little things and even just how they lay out the communications where it's like nah but we'll see well it's it is real real world is best but it helps it it can help it just 
making sure that you're aware not to take everything as <sighs> like it it's not it's not going to be that real world <laughs> two big things you won't ever get from the sim at least not with current tech right realistic control pressures yes and the sensations of flying depth perception is another but vr is getting there nice okay in-game atc is pretty awful yeah and i'm too nervous and too busy to figure out that sim right now so but so uh, i'm i'm gonna try it out and if if it doesn't work too well i'm just gonna try and i'll just pretend it's there and probably play atc myself even though i don't know what i'm doing either okay so we're gonna pretend we got our atis i don't remember what it is altimeter we'd set that um seat belts taxi radio brakes Yep, yep, yep. Heading indicator to compass. Excellent. We're going to do our run up here just because, yeah. Brake set. Fuel both. Trim for takeoff. Um, flight controls. Okay, so I do... Oops. Okay, hang on. And yes, I'm supposed to bind, bind a track IR key, but I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and like that, and like that, that, and like that there it's a square excellent oh and i like to check the elevator i don't and the rudders i don't think that's actually a thing but i don't know it's, yeah i like to be thorough uh instruments checking excellent oh brakes mixture best in power sure primer in and lock wiggle it excellent and we'll do our Go pick up your daughter. Okay, yeah. It's still on in 45 minutes. Oh, I will be. <laughs> I want to. We can jump into Discord. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Excellent. Yeah, well, have fun and probably see you later then. Cool. All right. 1700 check. Um, mags. Oh, gosh. I hate clicking this. Okay, we're going to click. Oop. Click once. Watch for the drop. Oh, it actually dropped. Oh, that's excellent. Cool, cool. Okay, and boop, boop. Oh, that's so cool. I feel like it hasn't before. Maybe it was just me, though. Elevator, definitely. Okay, good. Rudder is tough because you don't want to... Oh, crank the nose wheel while you're not moving. Ooh, sure. Okay. I'm going to definitely not do that <laughs> next time, then. I don't think... Yeah. I don't remember if I did or not, but I definitely won't now. Good to know. See? What if it doesn't drop? Oh, the, uh, okay. So that would be something of, like if it doesn't drop on one or both because if it doesn't drop on one, I feel like that would indicate that it's already running on one. So then the other one is just going to be off, kind of. So the other one is not working slash spark plug fouling. <laughs> I, that would be what I would assume, I guess, but either both or. Oh, good. I think, I think that's what you meant, kind of. That, yeah, so, so yeah, so like if, if I get it up to 1700, then it's running on something. So if, and it's supposed to drop on each of them because then it's not using the other one. So the little drop is that less power. So if it doesn't drop on the one, it would um, mean it's running on that one. Yes, as long as your prop is turning, your mags are generating spark. Right. Okay. But so so basically one of them isn't working properly though. Yes. Carb heat check. Is it just me or is it actually getting the drop in there now? I feel like it didn't before, and maybe I wasn't paying attention enough. Turn a mag off. You're just grounding it through the the P lead. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I have to go over my systems. I do. I do. I do. I do. Once I get through the uh, three tower landings, I will hopefully get back into the actual check ride study, and I'll get into all of that. So if it doesn't drop, it's not grounding out, meaning you might have a broken P lead. Okay. I will have to remember that then. Turn a map. Oh, so that's that. Um, okay, so that's that one thing. And I'm sorry, you have to you have to go. But um, it. Uh, so it's that one thing where 
it'll even if you turn the mags off the propeller will keep turning like that whole written test knowledge bit that I still have to puzzle into the real world stuff okay okay and then that's that whole thing where if the if stuff is hot and you uh, spin the propeller by hand you hand crank the propeller it'll still go I will I absolutely will <laughs> um, yes I will thank you thank you for that because it is it's it's those things that I absolutely need to make sure that I I know the things by the book but I still need to like put all the pieces together mentally and verbally and real worldly yes yes yep dangerous because if you accidentally hand prop it'll kick and go yeah haven't had to do that yet so that's good and hopefully never will <laughs> but you must have a competent po pilot at the controls in the cockpit according to the book learning so yes absolutely uh okay so yes got our mag checked and everything is working properly the p leads are not broken as far as we know and carb heat we did check vacuum make sure that's between four and six uh amps and volts are charging so positive oil pressure is good oil temp is good and we oops check for idle most excellent and we check our throttle friction which ends up being fine usually okay we are make sure our doors and windows are locked <laughs> uh-huh and uh camera track ir again which i need to bind but well stuff happens landing light we're gonna pretend is on okay so we're taxiing we do not know which one we're taking off of i think it was like three something and i'm gonna get to my this thing here so runways for Elton Hensley, right now best one is three zero with a seven knot headwind. So, um, where are we? We need to go that way. So we need to go that way. So we taxi gently. Oh, wait, wait. So we are, huh. again, my, the airport I fly at is very, very, very tiny to a point where like, there's none of this nice uh, concrete and paint. <laughs> it is just, oop, 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 oop. We're holding short of what now? Why are there, oh. Um. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oop, 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 oop. Where am I? In real life, I would have, oh, okay, that's interesting. In real life, I would have like looked up everything, printed out the diagram and everything. So, so we're going to taxi to, all right. And this is something that I had to figure out. Again, my, my, my thing is very, my airport is very tiny, very, you don't need a whole lot of, uh, communication and everything's just kind of yeah there's cornfields right next to the runway so okay we are all right and I'm actually terrified that I'm gonna say my home airport and or the plane that I fly so I might just end up saying blah blah we shall see oh I almost wonder if, uh, no 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 we're just going we're going ahead so Elton Henley traffic Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, uh, crossing 246, Elton Henley. So yeah, so uh, the runway that I usually take off from is full grass. And so, and it's just the one. So I don't have to worry about crossing anything or any other traffic usually. Oh, very slowly, <laughs> gently. So this, for my long cross country, that was, oop, oop, and we're continuing because are the, oh, oops, okay, 
that's different. <laughs> so I should have said over there, I should have said um, Elton Henley Traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, departing, wait, hang on. I'm going the wrong way. Do I have to, oh, back taxi, 3-0, Tree 0, Elton Henley. Because I did not see another, oh, gosh, darn. Okay, hang on. Boop, bitty boop, boop. Okay, and go. So yeah, so that was something different that I had to figure out. You know what? <laughs> it's like a straight tailwind, so we're just going to take off from here. So Elton Henley traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. What? Oh, shoot. <sighs> Departing three zero three zero East. West. Elton Henley. That's why you always think before you speak. And we're go, go, going. That's 500 feet for elevation. Yes, correct. Oh, I should have done a short field or something. I do have to work on those. I'm not liking the weather. So we might have to change that. And we're taking off west, so we're going to climb up about 500 feet. And actually, we're just going to go straight out and then turn out. Coming up on 1,000. Okay, so, ooh, no, I do not like this at all. And my, oh, okay, this is gonna irritate me. Ugh. You know what? We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go like this, and we're gonna shoop, and we're gonna track IR, and we're gonna give me a gimme. How do I bind you? Do you not allow me to? It's not gonna let me, is it? Okay, fine. I'll figure it out later. Oh, not getting into a spin. And you know what? I need my pattern practice. No, I don't. No. <sighs> and this is something, too, that I found out as I was figuring this out, that you can't turn off the ATC, or the pilot voice. <sighs> Go away. Cancel flight following. Go away. Um, you know what? We're just gonna go like this. Approach Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Time Cessna One Hundred and Fifty Two Two Miles Southwest of Kilo Foxtrot Tango Tango One Thousand Nine Hundred Feet. We'll just do that for now. That's so irritating. Yes. So you can't. You can't have the pilot um voice get taken off, which is <gasps> change com frequency. Well, if it would let me do things, but what? So like this one. Uh, nearest airport. Come on. Um, you. I want you. Come here. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel. Oh, Adis. Oh, so we're, we have Oscar. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Uh, tune. Do it again. Papa. 
Oh shoot, and am I already in? Ah, uh, okay. Um, uh, um, 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 uh, so I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna pretend that we're ten miles out because that's what I would do. So, uh huh. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One, ten miles east at uh, twenty five hundred. Inbound for full stop with Papa. Ah. Kind of. <laughs> wait, make left tra Wait, 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 what? Uh. Request touch and go. No, no I want full stop. Oh, manual with the convoy. Oh, see, I didn't. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Okay, 119.3. Oh, wait. 119.3. Okay. Okay, so it is on there now. And then I didn't... Okay. Alright. We're gonna try that again. Uh-huh. Fly... Oh, okay. Left downwind runway two. That's not hotel tree one delta one. <laughs> oh gosh. This is this is gonna be a little bit wonky just because, again, I am. I'm very worried that I'm gonna all of a sudden blurt out airports and uh, identifications that I shouldn't be. And I'm gonna do it for runway two, so uh, it's that way. So I'm gonna fly straight in. And then it's gonna boop around, kind of. So, ah, so I need to, who, okay. And I need to check, ah, info. Elevation is 889, so pattern about, yeah, we'll say 18. So I need to get stuff in sight, um, so I need to potentially start descending. Huh? Because I have no idea, uh, can it tell me, you know what? No, we're gonna figure it out. Airport is off that ish way. Kind of. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Again, in real life, I would have looked all of this stuff up. It would have been amazing. I got my little notebook that I write stuff down in even after I do an entire paper flight plan. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 there it is. Okay, so I'm entering left. Oh, wait, hold on. Where am I? I'm going like this. So, what? Okay, so, what? Hang on. Two is left. Oop, hang on. I'm reading this incorrectly. Two is that way. So, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Two is. Ah, yes. So, I would. Oh, gosh. Um, and I'm at 1800 and we're bringing it back. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not, not good. This is not a proper 45 degree and I need to be going this way and I'm way too close and I'm at pattern and oh gosh. Not banking too much. Still at 18, not dropping too much. I'm a little bit above 18. Uh, entering left downwind runway two. No, I am not. I completely messed that up. <laughs> oh no. And this always goes way too, and that's the thing too, the throttle goes way too far down. Ah. Or is, oh! This is runway two. Or this this will be, this way. Entering left downwind, runway two. Uh, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. And then I would get my car peed out, but I'm not gonna do it on here because it's a pain. And then I would bring my notch of oops flaps in and not click things that I'm not supposed to. And then, oop, okay, this is strange. And we're already here, so screw that. And bringing it back for 15. Okay. 
Oops, oops, oops. And let it drop at 500 feet a minute. No, that's definitely not correct at all. Oh, shoot. Hang on. It is. It's the big runway. This is why you always check your chart supplements and diagrams, kids. Uh, okay, so we are now entering left downwind. <laughs> Correct, yes. Yes, we are. And we're going to bring power up again because, oh my gosh. All right. And we're like so. And we're like so. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Okay. Trim is the worst on here. I need me a trim wheel, which would be great. Okay, good, kind of good. Okay, all right. So yes, then we would do our sea gumps, which is carb heat out, gas um, as necessary, undercarriage fixed, mixture full rich, power prop pumps, safety seat belts, uh, switches. So my landing light would go on. Actually, it should have gone on gone on 10 nautical miles ago. Uh, or it just shouldn't have been taken off after I took off. Ha, ha. Uh, and now we are, we need to get, and usually I actually need to bring it back like 15, like now. Because I end up coming, at, coming in high and fast. <laughs> Which is great on large runways and not so much on other runways. So it did, it worked out fine this weekend for my uh, long cross country. They were nice and large runways. <laughs> I could not mess that up. Uh, okay, we're still dropped. Delta one to Delta one with two seven zero entry. Clear to land runway two. Clear to land runway two, Cessna Hotel Tree one, Delta one. I already said that. Uh, okay, we're gonna uh, gauge it and so okay, so that that would be my th Im our controlled um, what's the word controlled are they gonna tell me like when to turn base and stuff or do I have to say, hey, I'm turning base like I usually do? I feel like no but then again, I don't know flaps. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little low. So we're, because you're not at 15. Gosh darn you. And uh, trim is fine-ish. Little low, little low. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, and then final two. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy. Not getting to stall speed. And we're, oops. There's our notch of flaps. And we're bringing it back. There we go. That's better. Kind of. All right. OK, here we go. Trim is a little wonky. We're getting close here, so, <laughs> oh gosh, keep it coming down, keep it coming down, keep it coming down, but no, don't sink. Oopsie daisy. Gentle, 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 and we just bring it in. Oh, chikaramba mapwa, oopsie. Oh, that wasn't that great. Next taxiway, turn. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Uh, direct sh discretion unless they say otherwise or you're following traffic. Okay, but don't fly too far downwind. So it, for an extended downwind, is that going, like which side is that? <laughs> okay, sounds good, okay. <laughs> See you soon. Exiting runway now. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Uh, 
Oh gosh. Contacting ground point six. That's now Hotel 31 Delta 1. Except we're going around and doing it again. Because we need three of these um, darlings to get checked off for check ride. So we're going to do that again. We're going to clean up the airplane. Get our flaps out. Carb heat back in. Trim for take off. See, and that's the thing. So, like, the trim wheel in the actual plane is a lot more sensitive than this thing. So, uh, if I did, if I wanted to put a little bit more money into this, I would definitely add a trim wheel. Uh, because it's... In the plane, in the real plane, y y yeah, it's, it's nice flying with it. And in this thing, especially with how slippery everything is, I could definitely taxi a little bit more. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm on whatever taxi way this is. Um, Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, on Alpha. Well, actually, I'll wait till I'm holding short of 2. Uh, I actually should have gotten it. Atis. Columbia Atis. So, uh, I don't want to tune ground, but okay. Taxi for takeoff options. Remain in pattern, yes. Okay, so, um, okay. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, holding short runway 2. And, and, and that's where I guess I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. And do they then say... State your intentions, or do I just say to remain in pattern or something? I'll get this all from my instructor, but it's basically what it's going to be is we're going to hop in and we're going to go over and we're going to do some together and then he's going to hop out and I'm going to do the three on my own. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of time to, uh, what's the word, um, absorb it and get practice with that. So I'm just going to be ready for anything. So we'll see what this thing says. Request taxi for touch and goes. Oh yes, with Papa. Okay. Taxi on Alpha. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, so it's hold short runway two via Alpha. 119.3 Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1 I think yeah you don't you, from what I've seen you don't have to use all of all of the words all of the words so yeah so now I'm Columbia Tower got it okay uh, request takeoff clearance so, so then I would say so I was talking to ground shoot okay so now, Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, holding short runway 2. And then they would say, blah, 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 what do you want? And then I would say, request to remain in pattern? I don't know. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, and runway 2, ready for departure, departure to the north. Columbia, wait, what? Cessna ah, shoot, I missed that. Uh, 
no, 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 give it back, give it back. I don't want to, I want to remain in pattern. Shoot, can you do that again? Oh, uh, cleared for takeoff runway two. That ho that's not Hotel Tree One Delta One. All right, so I guess we're going. All right, and my track IR is off again. That's okay. Because we got this down to a science. All right. So now we we don't taxi that fast because we are not a race car. Oh, probably because I'm standing on the brakes. It's kind of sad how often I do that. Even in the plane. Okay, so we're at runway two. Oopsie daisy. Okay, oopsie, oopsie. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. So fidgety. Oh, and why is everything so bright? Is it just me? Let me just check this again. Let's see what lab weather has for us. You know what? Not liking it. We want nice weather. All right, and we are, we got our uh, clearance and we're going. And this is at 1900, it says. So we're going to go, or sorry, 900. And it's going to go up to 900 or 1900. Blah. And we're going to remain on the center line. Or get on the center line before taking off. Okay, here we go. Nice and gentle. And we're going up. And we'll make it up to OOP and remain on the proper heading. So from 900, we're going to go up to 1400. Or are they going to tell me what I'm supposed to do? That's my thing too. Request full stop landing. Okay, so there'll be a tower Cessna no Hotel Tree One Delta One. One thousand hundred feet to land. Can I say with Papa and you don't have to tell me these things? Uh, left traffic runway two. Is that what it said? But yeah. Oh, like right now and that's the thing is it gonna tell is is the tower going to tell me go away so well okay so this is my left traffic we're going here no fighter pilot turns nice gentle turns I have clear skies but I feel like there's a wind yes I did acknowledge Acknowledge, Moran. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, 1900. Bringing it back. Oh, not quite yet, I guess. And then, yeah, so uh, entering left downwind for runway two. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. And why am I sinking already? Okay, so we're at a proper place outward. Our trim is the worst. We take our carb heat out. Um, okay, and there we're good. Carb heat comes out, one notch of flaps, and we're chilling, not going up. All right, carb heat. We go do our sea gumps. Carb heat out. Gas is good. Undercarriage fixed. Mixture full rich. Power prop pumps, safety, security seat, <laughs> same thing. Or maybe it's not. I can't remember. I'll have to go over that again. And switches. Our landing light would have been on from when we took off. And we are bringing it back. Actually, we're going to wait a little bit. Now we're going to bring it back. 1,500. Let it come down at around 500 feet per minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oopsie. Nope, nope, nope. Not that fast. Cleared to land runway 2. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. See, this, the ATC stuff, it has to, it has to figure out, it needs to pick a lane because, oh, acknowledge my last transmission and then it just steamrolls over me for everything else. Okay, and I don't have to say base and stuff, so we'll just go ahead and go and not ram into the ground. 
keeping on, keeping on, not so fast. And we bring it out, flaps, bringing power up a little bit because, oh gosh, here comes final. And again, I promise I'm a lot better in an actual airplane. <laughs> My patterns are exquisite. Apart from final, I tend to overshoot or undershoot. Okay, and we're bringing the oop, uh, third notch of flaps, bringing power back, getting stabilized. And then we're bringing to idle because that side picture is a little tiny bit. Oop, here we go. There we go. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle coming in. Keeping it coming down. Oop. Okay, oop, here we go, oop, here we go, oop, here we go. Nope, we're gentle, and we're just land right above the runway, not on the nose wheel. There we go, that wasn't horrible. Next taxiway, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Oh, stay on the center line. We are not in a car. We are not in a race car either. Ground point six. Cessna Hotel Tree Delta One. Tree One Delta One. Not running over lights. Excellent. Okay, that wasn't horrible. Again, so the last time, well, this was a long time ago. Months ago, I should just say. Um, oh, uh, let's actually, we'll again pretend that we got to do our stuff. Yeah, the last time I remember uh, my instructor call, like, had to call for midfield. Oops, 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 oops. Had to call for midfield. <laughs> Pay attention when you're taxiing. Um, I thought, I mean, there were, I think there were potentially other people in the pattern or just in general around. So maybe that was a thing. I'm hoping that there's absolutely no traffic <laughs> over there when we go, but okay. So we're going like this. We're going to get Columbia Addis. Okay, so we have Papa. Uh, ground, Columbia Ground, Cessna Hotel Tree One, Delta One, taxiing via L. Uh, actually, it was something. Okay, so request. Ta no, 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 that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. They need to give more options. I'd prefer not. Uh, and now it's okay hang on how about okay so we're gonna do this thing um 9.3 oh and something that was interesting to me i had to uh before i had oop i had my um for my long cross country i had to have all my frequencies and uh, all of a sudden I get into the plane and one of my frequencies didn't go in. So I'm like, what? Why? It just jumped from like, as I was turning it, it jumped from that to like the beginning and it just completely skipped it. So I text my instructor. I'm like, ah, what's happening? And I had to put it in the nav uh, box. And so that was interesting. And it was another one of those like sort of puzzle pieces that Gosh darn it, this is irritating. That, uh, uh, come on, uh, come on, uh, there we go, there we go, there. oh, shoot. Okay, going, going, oops, shoot, shoot, uh, ah, loop. Uh, Okay, flip. 
Oh, thank goodness. What? Okay, so there. No. Yes. What am I supposed to do here? I don't want to click all that stuff again. <sighs> Go back to clear. Do I have to taxi all the way? You know what? No. You know what? No. We're just going to do it. We're just going to, okay, we're going to pretend like we know what's going on. So, Columbia ground, perhaps. Oh, cleaning up the airplane. Always the right thing to do. All right. Since we're just going to be doing powder work, I think that I'm not going to have to do anything with ground. I don't even know if the one that I'm using has a ground. So, I assume it would. Um, but it's probably the same people. So, we're just going to go with tower for now. Columbia Tower. Well, actually, we're going to wait. We're going to taxi. We're taxiing back around. And we're going to hold short. That's what we're going to do. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, here we go. Oh, ba, 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 ba. No, 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 no. Aha, nothing crossed. <clears throat> I am legal. So. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Okay. Again, trying to remember back to when, again, months ago when we did this. And I... My track IR. There. Uh... Yeah, and you know what? I think that that is part of the problem, too, is because, like, it is. Everything is, like, that far away, whereas everything else, or er, in the actual plane, it's, it is. It's it's supposed to be, like, here. So, it's wonky. It's a little wonky. Columbia Tower. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, holding short runway 2. Then they would say, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, Columbia Tower. Uh, state intentions? I don't know. Whatever they say about that. Um, to get my PPL, my IFR, and then my commercial <laughs> rating. Uh, requesting takeoff runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And then they would say, are you going to work this time? Nope. So we're done with that. Then they would say, cleared for takeoff runway 2, Cessna. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, cleared for takeoff runway 2. Cleared for takeoff runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And then we would do it again. And we would do that three times. And, well, and yeah, and actually technically this would be... This is only number two, because the first time was just coming in. In which I would, well, after a few... A few with him... I do not like how bright it is. After a few with him, he'd pop out, and I would have to do it myself. We're going to get ourselves on center line, because that's what pilots do. Come on. Here we go. 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 Excellent. Okay. <sighs> uh, our airplane is cleaned up. We are trimmed for takeoff. We have everything on. We should have done this beforehand, so now we're just going to take off. And we did our sort of... Uh, told them what we were doing and we were cleared so we're cleared and this brightness is killing me okay ah oh gosh okay and we're ready to go and again bringing it up to yes I was shut up I'm not listening to you anymore then give me give me option give me the option for the tower. Columbia Tower Cessna Hotel Tree one Delta Thank one, you. one mile south one thousand feet with poppage land. Cessna Hotel Tree one Delta one Columbia Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two and two seven zero and three. Make left traffic runway two. 
Left traffic, runway two. Runway, runway, runway two. two. One, Delta one. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. In preparation for ATC stuff, I was listening to a lot of uh, uh, Kennedy Steve, and I didn't really think about it, but he was ground, so I didn't really get any <laughs> actual air um, uh, practice in that respect. Uh, and yeah, entering left downwind runway two, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And yeah, this pattern is pretty shnipe. I apologize. Oh gosh, we're gonna bring it back just a little bit. Yeah, the visual is just not what it needs to be, but that's okay. All right, uh, and so we are way past what we need to be, so we're bringing it oops down. We are trimming the heck out of this. Not too far. Make sure we're in the white arc, which I th think we are. So uh, one notch of flaps, carb heat, gas. We're gonna bring it, we're gonna descend a little bit. Oh gosh, that's not, we're gonna bring power out even more to descend some more and descend some more. And we're just about at a beam, so we're gonna bring it out full 15 and keep descending. And we're gonna, oops, trim. <laughs> That's not good. Trim for 500 and keep it coming down. Clear to land runway two, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And something that I thought was incredibly weird too, I hadn't I hadn't done the sim for a long time, but on my local solo cross country stuff, I kept on almost saying my sim, my sim number rather than my actual number. And I hadn't done it in a while. So it was like, why is that what's in my mind? And is it past 15 again? We're gonna bring that up. Oh, we need a little bit more. We're on base, we're still descending. Trim wheel is ish. Notch of flaps. And again, we were cleared to land, so we just land that thing. Oh, I love the little shadow on the ground. That's something that makes me happy. Oh, uh, we are we're doing okay, doing okay. Ball is centered, turning on a dime. And we roll out a little bit, oops. And last notch of flaps. Don't let it balloon, keep it coming down. Bring in power, gradually out, nice and gentle. Okay, we're making sure that we flare properly and at a decent height. And we're getting there. Try and keep it on, oops, center line. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, 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 not so. And we just gently Gently, beautiful, kind of ish. Not on center line, but we didn't. We'll exit runway when when able. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One, and we will remain on the center line. There we go. Remaining on center line and turning off. Is it just because I'm I'm slouching? 
Oh, and that's a little fast. I'd prefer not to because of how that ended up last time. Ground, point six. Cessna, Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. Thanks, and have a good day. Okay. So now we do the thing, and we tune it to ground. Oops. And then we taxi for takeoff options. So, Columbia ground, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. Uh, on Alpha with Papa. Ah, uh, remain in pattern. Columbia ground, Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta, one with Papa request taxi for takeoff touching down. Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta, one taxi to withhold short of runway two using taxiway Alpha. Contact tower on one one nine or decimal tree when ready. Hold short runway two via Alpha. One one nine point three, one one nine or point three, Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta one. So that would have technically been <laughs> my second one. <laughs> oh gosh. And, uh, see, and I do. I think I have this idea that there. Oh gosh. Again, I hope there's not a lot of traffic. But I have this idea that they're supposed to be like telling me where to go at every point, kind of. I mean, not every point, but a lot more than I think they probably will. It's just, I don't know. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, 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 no. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta. Columbia Tower, Ho Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta one, holding short runway two. Cessna Hotel Tree, one Delta one altimeter, two niner, decimal niner, two wind two seven zero in trees. And they would say, what are your intentions? And I would say, Cleared for takeoff requesting we're requesting takeoff runway two, Cessna Hotel Tree one, deck, one, Delta one, and then cleared for takeoff, Cessna Hotel Tree one, Delta one, and then we would go. Oops, that's too much. We're not a race car. Okay. I just realized it gets dark fairly early. Oh gosh. Oops. So it's a good thing that I'm practicing this because we might not have a lot of time and if we only get, oh gosh. Oop, and we're just gonna take off. Oh, 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 we're gonna put our flaps up first. Clean up the airplane always. Ugh. Can I? Uh, not that one. Space bar. Oh gosh, that. Nope, nope, nope. Um. That. There we go. Uh. <laughs> I'm not. Oh. I'm not looking forward to having my landings be watched. I mean, I can land and not break anything, but it's questionable sometimes. Ah, okay. All right. So we are flying, heading to... Oops. And we're getting up to 1,400, because that's 500 above elevation. And then we're going to do a turn, nice and gentle, making sure nobody's up chucking because... With Papa. Left downwind runway 2, Cessna Make Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. Entering left downwind runway two. And we are at pattern and we are bringing it out. Oops. I've also found that I hate just taking off and coming around uh, for an immediate downwind. Um, downwind to base to final and then back in because 
it comes up so fast and I get unstable right at <laughs> right on the downwind. So carb heat would come out. First notch of flaps comes in, not uh, ascending or descending anymore. Ah. Okay. coming up a beam the numbers and then I just got to kind of gauge it to make sure boom we're just gonna go 1500 bringing it out not below not above you finicky thing and we're bringing it down at 500 trimming it hopefully Clear to land runway two, Cessna Hotel three one Delta one. Okay, and we're good, and we are gauging for our base, and we're gonna go. Oh, not that far. <laughs> uh huh. And our next notch of flaps while continuing to descend. And we're going final immediately. Because we are very close. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Not fighter pilot turns. And our third notch of flaps and bringing it all the way out because we are too trimmed. And <laughs> we got a lot of runway, so it's okay. We're not going to dive bomb the runway, but we are going to probably have to taxi back quite a bit. And we're going to flare. We This, this would have been a go around. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to full. We're going to kind of keep it um, going around Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Then they would say a reason for go around. Unstable Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. I think. Maybe. Ay. So we'll get back up to 1400. I actually did. I had to do uh, an actual go around um, on my short local cross country. Cross country. Um, last week. Came in high and fast and I started bouncing a little bit. So I was like, mm -mm, not happening. And so I booped and went and it was all good. It was okay. Which gave me the confidence to be able to do my long one last weekend. Nope. Okay, so exit. We are perfect. Yep, we're good, and we are entering left downwind, runway two, hotel tree one, Cessna hotel tree one, delta one. Yeah, and, and again, every time I do solo stuff now, I'm always, I'm still surprised at how fast the airplane gets up there. Because it's like I'm trying to get onto my downwind, but I'm already blowing right past my pattern altitude. So carb heat would go out. Gas is where it needs to be. Uh, fuel is on both. Uh, undercarriage is fixed. Mixture full rich. First notch of flaps. And not. No, we are not ascending anymore. Again, this visual. It's not quite the same. All right. And the trim wheel is the worst. Bringing it back. 1,500. No more, no less. Perfect. And descending. Uh, power prop pumps, safety switches, seatbelts. 
descending at 500 feet a minute and not chasing the VSI. And we were quite close on that base and final. So we're going to go out just a little bit more. Uh, but we can't do too much more because our descend, descent is at 500 feet a minute. So if we're at, we got about two minutes to get down. So we're going and we're going. So we're turning our base and we are blooping up there and we have our first notch of flaps. We're going to bring it. And of course it comes back from 1500. And we're turning our final right away. And we overshot, but that's okay. Because we can handle it. And we're going to next notch of flaps and bring power back to 15 again. And we're going to drop power. We're still descending. I guess stop moving around. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. I would consider, yeah, I would, uh, I had to touch a power. I should have, I should have added power beforehand. I'm trying to work on gauging that better. Why? Because I broke something. Ground, ground point six. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Oops. Oi. He didn't tell me where to to uh, taxi off, though. That's too bad. We're doing it anyway. Oh, and we're going this way. <gasps> You're back. Hello. Hope things are all good. Oh, and we must clean up the airplane. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go hold short and then we'll have to figure out if you're still up for <laughs> this madness. Cause yeah, I don't think I have to say anything while I'm taxiing cause he would have told me taxi back around or something. So I'd be Taxi runway two via Alpha Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One potentially. And my instructor is a stickler for comms uh, stuff, so he will make sure I'm saying all the right stuff for where we are. So five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sounds like a great time. I've been there. Kind of. Ish. Som some sometimes I was. Sometimes I wasn't. That's funny. <laughs> oh, brings back memories. Heck, I still listen to that once in a while. It's on the radio. What, what are you supposed to do? Okay. So, okay, I have to open, I, yeah, this isn't going to do anything, I, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Doing your best to embarrass her. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's funny, I'm trying to like, okay, so I'm an aunt. Um, I have small, small ones in that way. And I do, I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to be 
the embarrassing auntie. But yet at the same time, I'm also like, you know, I also should. So I am still trying to figure out that balance. I want to and I don't want to. It depends. Okay. So are you, are you up for <laughs> guiding me around? If not, that's absolutely fine. I, I, cause I, I feel like I'm, I, I am overthinking it a little bit as I do, but I, I do. I just kind of remember that I feel like when we were doing it, I, I, I'm assuming that they are like going to call my legs. So I just want to be prepared for that. But then again, this is the sim. Like they don't tell me that much. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. And I'm just trying to get a little bit in just a little bit familiar with it so that I can just get it done and be done with it. Cause we are, we're trying to crank out requirements this week. Custom airport. Oh, for tomorrow night's flight. Speaking of, I might not make tomorrow's at all. I feel awful about it. It. I'm gonna find out tomorrow, but it's kind of it's kind of likely that that's not gonna work. Ah. Uh, it is. It's 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 the fact that we are. We're trying to get me as prepped as possible and get everything done so that I can hopefully again ambitious goal check ride by Christmas sort of thing it might not work out but I, I would I'd like to get it done if I can so yeah so I'm sorry for that by the way it, if it does if it ends up working out fine um, that'll be that'll be good I'll let you know but otherwise yeah I'm sad about it. Oh, and I mucked my... Uh, uh, okay. Oops, no, not that one. I, I know, but, like, it's, it's also for me. I enjoy it. So it's like it's one of those things that I get to just kind of, like, sit and just chill and enjoy that I don't get to do then. I have to sleep instead, which is something I also enjoy, but, like, you know... Ah, anywho. <laughs> so I mean, I I could definitely go do another run around the pattern if you got if you're uh, finishing stuff up. Oh, I have to do my call. I have to do my calls. Okay. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One, holding short runway two, and then they would say Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One, Columbia Tower, date intentions or go ahead. I would say. Requesting depart or requesting takeoff. <laughs> requesting takeoff runway two, Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One, and then they would say, if they'll do it, nope. They're gonna tell me I'm not cleared. Um, they would say clear to land, or clear to <laughs> cleared for takeoff runway two. Or. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel, no. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, Columbia Tower, cleared for takeoff, runway 2. And then I would say cleared for takeoff, runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. And then I would taxi onto the runway. Not zoom onto the runway, taxi onto the runway. Ooh, almost nailed that center line. <laughs> Not quite. And our plane is clean. Excellent. And we're good to go. Noom. Trim might be a little wonky. Okay, I do. I just need to, ooh, sit up like a lady. And stay on the center line. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. Doop -doop. Excellent. All right. 
nine ooh, nine hundred. I always get the uh the large oops. Ah Columbia Tower sets up hotel tree one delta one is one mile south one Oh, I thought it was gonna tell me I wasn't cleared for takeoff. Again. Left downwind for runway two. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Fly left traffic runway two Cessna <laughs> One Delta One. And we are almost at fourteen hundred. Yeah, anything below a thousand, I always get it mixed up with. Above a thousand. And we're turning and we're turning. And we zoop and then we wait and then we turn again. <laughs> Entering, oop, 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 no fighter pilot turns. Entering left downwind, runway two, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Coming up on pattern and bringing power out. And not that far. And, oops. Must get the visual. So yeah. So again, what I remember from uh, we haven't we haven't done towered stuff in a while, um, but back when we did, I th thought that he had to like say midfield. Oh, and flaps, not to flaps. Um, mixture full rich carb heat would go out. But I haven't seen, like, as I was doing my re my research, I didn't see anything about that. So I, I don't, I, I kind of, I kind of don't know what to expect. And it is, it's gonna go everything. Everything is going like kind of fast right now. So yeah. Cleared to land runway two, Cessna one Delta one. And again, there shouldn't be that much wind, but it feels like it keeps pushing me. And we're just a mosey in. Mosey, mosey, mosey. Where's that ball? Uh huh. No, we're not ascending. And we are. One more notch, and we're going to go right away on final. And third notch of flaps. Most excellent. And we're gonna bring it down. I am not sure about what speed I'm supposed to be for this aircraft. But we're continuing oop, to go down. We're gonna get on that center line right away without stalling. Okay, and we're, mm-hmm. Oh, it wasn't on center line, but it was okay. Exiting runway when able, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, or 1 Delta 1, whichever one you prefer. And we're keeping on the center line because we are not a car. Oh, that's uh, not where I'm. Oops, it's supposed to be. Cessna one Delta one contact ground on one two one decimal six. Ground point six Cessna one Hotel one Tree one Delta, Cessna one Delta one. 
Most excellent. Ah! <gasps> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. <gasps> oh, gosh. Um, and they would tell me, uh, in, instead of telling me to contact ground, they'd be like, uh, take alpha to runway, uh, hold short runway two. And then I would say, hold short runway two via alpha Cessna hotel tree one Delta one. And then I would just taxi because yeah, that's it. I think <laughs> again, I would rather over prepare than under prepare. Because it is. I'm realizing that we're not going to have a whole lot of time when we actually get to it. So I'm I'm almost thinking that uh, I don't know. He. I can see two two ways that that lesson's going to go. We're going to get there and we're going to land once, and he's going to be like, "All right, you got this," and he's going to jump out. Or we will we will do some together or more than that together and then you jump out but I don't know that's going to take a little while and uh, oh gosh now I'm like now I'm wondering if it's going to be slightly nighttime, and if that if that's technically allowed I don't know uh, I don't know again I'm overthinking things and I will talk to my instructor about that. And hello, we're practicing towered, um, towered uh, landings, because I have to get that requirement taken care of. And all of my, most of my experience is that uncontrolled stuff. So I'm one of those, I'm going to be a master uncontrolled pilot, and I'm going to be terrified of the controlled stuff. So yeah. So how's it going? Um, how am I doing? Pretty well, I think. Um, I did my first long solo cross country over the weekend and that went pretty well. I'm going to go over it with my instructor at some point soon. Um, I got a lot of questions. Uh, and we are right now. We're basically working on cranking out all of my requirements, and hopefully, ambitious goal is going to be check ride before Christmas. I have a lot to work on and to learn yet. So yeah, but so for right now, that's what's on the um, agenda and the menu at the moment is getting all of my requirements taken care of, and the mo the next one coming up is the towered landings. So again, yes, I don't have the, I, I have, I think the uncontrolled ATC or the uncontrolled comm stuff down pretty well. Um, but the controlled stuff, I am terrified. <laughs> Which airport am I at? I'm at, uh, K, K, C, O, U, Columbia, Muni or regional or something. Columbia Regional, so Kate, sorry, Charlie Oscar Uniform. I'm still getting used to that stuff and Niner and all that, yeah. Oh, I should probably check what that I'm at. I'm on East, the usual, the default. Don't feel ready for it. No, I, absolutely not. Don't feel ready for it. Don't push it. Feel confident. I know you'll pass your oral exam with 100%. Thanks. Thank you. I, again, I, my like personality is stress <laughs> kind of, not really, but I do. I am very much an overthinker and in, in certain ways, like that is useful. Um, and I, like I have, I've gotten to a point where before the long cross country, I had been for like weeks mentally deer in headlights and just kind of still cranking it out because I I have I'm I, I am better than I think and I'm 
realizing that a little bit. I don't want to get cocky at all. That's my main issue is I don't want to let myself. I don't know. It's just like getting into that confident area is very close to getting into that cocky area. And from my experience, if I'm confident about something, it means I'm missing something. So that's why I do. I let myself, I let myself kind of stress about it. Stupid track IR, but it's just me bobbling my head around. So yes. So, and again, that's why my ambitious goal is before Christmas. So I'm doing as much as I can to get as prepared for it as I can. Because honestly, every step of this has been me not being ready and doing it anyway. And turn and it turns out I'm fine. Like the, yeah, the written test, I was like, I mean, I was, I was prepared for it, but I was like, oh, I just, I, I just got to get it done, get it out of the way so I can focus on the flying stuff. And then I get a hundred percent. And then like my solo happens and it was pretty fine, even though I was terrified. Oh, want to practice voice comms? Jump into mid. Okay. Yes, I shall. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where is it? I got to find it. Uh, where are you? There you are. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready and I'm, I'm, I'm good to go for that. Um, yeah. And then, so yeah, so first solo, I was like, I made myself ready for it and I did it and it was fine. And then, um, like, and then I did, I dragged my feet on more soloing and we did it again and it was fine. And then my short cross country, I was a little bit, uh, and it was still fine. And then my long cross country, I was like, okay, I was stressing, but it, it, it did. It went okay. And it was actually quite awesome. Okay. Excellent. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Okay. Ah, okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Got to get my track iron on again. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I got to mute you, your stream here because it's way behind. Oh, sure. Sounds good. And I got to turn the volume up. There we go. Okay. Okay. So you're at Columbia Regional in yes. uh, Columbia, Missouri. Is that correct? Maybe. That looks right. I'm I'm, okay. I'm restarting my stim here. It's uh, sure. It actually crashed. Oh no! Uh, but fortunately, I was done with the uh, the airport. I was yeah. Done, so. No, absolutely. And I hope that all went well. Uh, lots of stuff. Uh, basically laying down a runway and and clearing out excess trees and. Right. It's kind of like building a real airport. Actually. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now. I don't know if your mic, I think Discord may be set to your uh, camera mic <gasps> rather than oh. your Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. All right. It sounds like you're about a mile away. Okay. Yeah, probably am. Here we go. Working on it. Working on it. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, this? And I was going to jump in as observer and watch you in the sim that real time, but I may have to, uh, shoot. Okay. Input. Oh, yep. Not that one. This one. Is that, that better? One. Excellent. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Hey, there we go. All, All right. right. Yeah. Flight simulator was completely hung up. I had to, uh, task manager that, that thing. So it's, oh, it's okay. gonna be a good seven minutes before I go out of there, but you are <laughs> okay. at, um, all right, you're at runway t two at Alpha. Yes. Yep. Okay, and what is uh, what what call sign are you using? Uh, ho Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One. Let me uh, let me let me get a script here to, to write that down. Okay. Just get myself situated. That that's all right. That's remember, all right. I'm not a, I'm not an air traffic controller. Oh, oh yep, so that's fine. Neither am I, and so. neither is the Sims. So I'm. Yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, I think I'll, I'll try to be better than the sim. I'll try to be Perfect. more realistic than the sim. I'm, so, uh, I'm assuming so. Okay. Yay! I'm glad. It's, so everything's coming through all right. 
Oh yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay, and then and then on stream, for Dave. Y yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, you have to ask them. Let me see. Yeah. So. So wait. Okay. Okay. And what is our current? What is our current wind right now? I have it on, on clear skies. I think it was like two seven you zero at three. Skies. Uh, I can try live what, weather. What's that again? I think it was at two seven zero at three. Well, okay, so we'll do Mitar. Oh, oh it's dude, not no available. Oh, there it is. I can give you. It's I can give you the current weather. Okay. All right. Well, okay. we'll just do uh, it. Okay. Columbia Regional Weather uh, zero or zero zero five or sorry three five four Zulu uh, wind one zero zero one zero at five. Visibility ten. Sky clear. Temperature minus one, dew point minus twelve, altimeter three zero three zero. Okay. And that's which one? That was for Columbia. Well, yes, but uh, is it Papa? Is it India? <laughs> oh, e okay. Yeah, you want an Adis? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, well, let's do uh, Adis uniform. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, it, it's. I think Columbia is a part-time tower, so it would revert to just uh, an AWOS at night. Uh, but but yeah, we'll we'll pretend it's a. Uh, okay. We're we're open, right? So uh, uniform, and uh, so I'll read that again. Um, okay. Awesome. Columbia Regional uh, Automated Weather, zero three five four Zulu, wind zero one zero at five knots, visibility ten, sky clear, temperature minus one, dew point minus twelve, altimeter three zero. Three zero, landing and departing, runway two. Advise on initial contact. You have uniform. This is fun. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. All right. So uh, yeah. So I'll be I'll be local controller now. So you just awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, well, again, we haven't done this in a while, and so I'm just kind of winging it, ha, a little bit. Um, we'll Kay. go over stuff eventually so uh, uh so columbia tower cessna hotel tree one delta one holding short runway two cessna three one delta one uh columbia tower uh hold position for uh landing traffic regional jet on a two mile final holding short and watching for traffic cessna hotel tree one delta one And yeah, if, if I say anything weird or it's not like quite, I don't know. Just yeah, let me know. Yeah, we can we can go over that after. But that, okay. That, that's my, all right. <laughs> and Cessna uh, Hotel Three One Delta One, uh, traffic is over the numbers. Uh, the line up and wait runway two. Line up and wait runway two. Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One. Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, cleared for takeoff runway 2, caution wake turbulence. Cleared for takeoff runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Because I don't have to say the wake turbulence part, right? <laughs> That's correct. Okay, thank you. Gosh. Sorry. Hang on. And Cessna One Delta One, say intentions. One second. I have to turn off the ATC in here.
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. That and okay, and go back and there and is that all I had to do? I don't know. Okay. Hopefully. I th I think so. Okay. Oh gosh. There. Oh, shit. All right. Sorry. Right. Cessna one delta one, say intentions. <laughs> one second. Sorry, it's still going. Oh, it's okay. Ah. Uh, if you just literally just rotate your frequency knob it, oh. it, on your uh, whatever radio is active, it'll turn it off. Okay. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. There. So just grab your grab your comm one. There. And then uh, just flip it to a random station. There. I think it's good for now. All Drop right. Snap. Oh. No, I think I'm good. Oh, no, that was calm. You're good. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1, say intentions. Uh, request landing, runway, request landing, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Okay, uh, For full stop. Delta 1 Delta 1, make uh, left closed traffic uh, runway 2. Okay. Uh, left closed traffic runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. We up, best angle of climb. Yes, working on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, was I supposed to wait for you to tell me it's downwind? Nope. Okay. It's it's pretty much at your discretion, um, un unless otherwise uh, advised. Right. Um, just just make sure that you are at a safe altitude before you begin your turn. Right, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and that's what I kind of thought, that I'm kind of overthinking it, and I'm assuming that they're going to be telling me, go here, go here, go here. They but may, they may not. Yeah, It depends okay. on the traffic. Cessna 1 Delta 1, say type landing. Uh, full stop, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Okay, uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, follow the Archer on a one mile final. Uh, clear to land, runway 2. Following Archer, uh, clear to land, runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Archer 2, Mike, Mike, uh, turn left, uh, taxiway Alpha 2, contact ground 121.9.
landed. So, the, the, so okay. So do I have to wait for you to tell me to tax? And Cessna, uh, one Delta one. Uh, looks like you missed uh, Alpha one there. Go ahead and uh, turn left Alpha two. And contact ground uh, point niner. Turning left Alpha two, ground one point. Ground point niner. Thank you, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. <laughs> Sorry. I'm actually finally in the sim now, so I'm act I can watch it. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. So <laughs> <laughs> when, when, right A when you told delay. me you landed, I was like, I yep, I can see that now. Okay. So. Okay, we're on Alpha. Okay, hang on. Uh, uh, the land wasn't looking good. It looked a little high. <laughs> it felt a little high. <laughs> full flaps up, full power. Do it again. Yes, it did. It actually went Are okay. You, uh, I am cleared of runway. Cleared of runway two. Okay, you. That's my hotel tree. Go ahead and call one. ground. Uh, okay. Uh, Columbia Ground, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, request taxi to parking. I don't know. I wasn't planning on doing ground. <laughs> okay. Um, Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, go ahead and uh, taxi straight ahead to the ramp. Okay. Well, and so that, that oops, so that's my question too. How are these landings supposed to go, the three required ones? Because that's, because that is, that's what we have to do is the three, oop, 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 I'm going, okay, hang on, I'm going too fast. Um, we're, we do, we're doing the three re required towered landings. So w I guess what is the, am I supposed to say stop and go? Is that yeah, what so I'm supposed to? Yeah, so if you are, I yeah, if, if it depends on what type of landing you and the instructor, your instructor have worked out. If you want to do a touch and go, um, you know, some, some places don't teach touch and goes or they don't prefer that. They prefer stop and goes for student pilots. Sure. Um, so it, you, you will tell them that. Um, you'll 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 request that. So um, when you know on your initial call up, I heard you earlier. You were saying full stop. Um, if you if you're full stop, they're expecting you to get off the runway, right? Okay. And, yeah. And 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 whatever. If uh, if you want the um, if you want a touch and go, stop and go, uh, request it. Okay. And so well, you can you can do that in the pattern. Um, you know, you can do that in the pattern. They may have to resequence you. So uh, do it uh, when you are on the upwind. Um, or well, okay. Let me let me let me ref let me backtrack. It, it, on your initial call up, you would say um, like a stop and go, and they will usually, in that case, clear you for the option. Okay. And if you are if you have the option, that means you are cleared for either a full stop. A a touch and go, a stop and go, or a low approach. You can do whatever of, okay. the, of the four you want, and you can do it at your discretion. Um, if you're going to make it a full stop, tell them that. Okay, I, I tell guess them that. I was say say uh, say this will be a full stop. Okay, I was I was unsure. I wasn't sure which um, one was called what, and I guess I I am. I'm not sure which ones count for those required landings. Um, like, do touch and goes count or? For your, for your day landings, yeah, yep. Day day landings, touch and go, a, a, a touch and go, stop and go, full stop, all count. For night landings, um, there's some there's some debate on this in the professional community, but um, everybody logs. Uh, you can do stop and goes at night. Um, some people argue that you have to do a full stop, meaning taxi off and, and taxi back. Right. But um, that is not the general practice out out in the real world Re the practice is to do a stop and go touch and go wouldn't count as that right so, 
Okay, so so make it a make it a stop and go, and that will get your night currency. Um, uh, and that is that's gonna, I mean, probably be what. So if we'll we'll just say make it easy during the day. That's kind of how I would do it. Is the stop and go? I would go. I would stop on the runway. They'd be like, "All right, go," or I would just go. Do I have to? They, you're you're gonna clean up the airplane. Right. Collect yourself. I mean, this is a, your instructor, right? You you, you want to get this from your instructor. I will. I absolutely uh, will. Clean it. Clean up the airplane. Get it. Get it trimmed. Get the flaps set. Get it configured. You know, carb heat all your all your pre takeoff uh, stuff. And if you sit on the runway for you know. Se- several seconds, it's not going to be that big of a deal, right? Sure. So yeah. You come to a complete stop, reconfigure, take a breath, and yeah. then go ahead and go. And and if you are lingering too long, the tower will let you know about it. Right. So okay. Generally speaking, if you're going to do a stop and go, and a bunch of other people in the traffic are doing touch and goes, or you got airline traffic coming in, or larger aircraft, um, they'll sequence you behind them, or they'll they'll tell you. Um, you know, uh, expedite or, or no delay. Sure. Um, you know, they'll say they'll if you if you're if, let's say you, they clear you for a the option, mm-hmm. okay, or they give you specifically a stop and go. Okay. And you come in, and you're you're in between two aircraft, and sure. you are you come in and you get real slow on final, uh-huh. and the aircraft behind you is gaining on you. As yep. you land, they may tell you. Um, Cessna 1, Delta 1, expedite your roll, um, expedite your takeoff roll. So that means don't don't sit don't sit there, get 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 going. So, okay, um, so that would be basically. Uh, touch otherwise, and go. they'll have to tell the person behind you to go around. Right. And and that again, that's they're only going to do that if you're if you are being unpredictable. If you're if you're like, like I said, you got real slow and the person behind you has now gotten in your bubble. Sure. And and it, they're either going to tell them to go around or they're going to tell you to expedite and go and, okay. and get going. Um, likewise, if you're sitting on the runway for a minute or two, they're going to be like, Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, expedite takeoff. Um, and, and that means, you know, get going. Right. Um, so. I should have all my stuff taken care of beforehand. Or, again, like you said, if I'm stopping going, just make sure I got all of that stuff down to just go. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, so just, if just make sure you, you're, um, you know, you kind of you kind of work through that a- ahead of time, and let the stu- let the tower know you're a student pilot. Yeah, well, you're coming in. You s- you know, on your initial call up, uh, Cessna one Delta one uh, two zero miles to the east, uh, two thousand five hundred inbound for stop and go with Foxtrot student pilot. Okay. And they will slow things down for you, and they will make sure that they're not jamming you in between all this dissimilar traffic and stuff like that they will they will give you a break so let's let's try that now yeah one thing i was going to say is you came off the runway uh-huh and you you're you're way on the taxiway so ground control would not be happy with that oh for um as i was uh b- b- as i was taking off i was not following the no, uh, no, no. heading Af- after you landed here so you, landed. you turned off on alpha alpha two yes right yes and all all you want to do is is clear that hold short bar so you get on the other side of the hold short bar for the runway there and yeah. stop Claim, do your do your after landing oh. checklist okay and contact ground before you move so you do not want to enter that that other taxiway that you're sitting in right right right, right. well um, and i was i was i was i wasn't sure quite what we were doing and i didn't want to get too far anywhere <laughs> so no, that's okay. okay and 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 uh, but but remember that like like take a moment take a beat after you after you exit the runway, do your checklist. Okay. Come off the runway, do your checklist. Take a second, think about where you want to go, what you're going to say, and then and then uh, communicate before you move. And and oftentimes there will be a taxiway hold line uh, at those intersections. Sure. Right. So it'll be a little bit more obvious and clear that hey, uh, don't don't enter that that next taxiway until you're given an instruction. Yeah. Now tower. Maybe combined with ground, they may say uh, C- Cessna one Delta one exit uh, exit the runway when able, or to exit the runway at Alpha three, uh, taxi straight ahead to or uh, taxi straight ahead of the ramp with me. They'll say with me, right? And that means you just stay on that one. So you at that point you are cleared to go ahead and taxi. Okay. Um, 
across that intersection. But I would not enter that intersection uh, otherwise until you yeah, are no. in contact with Brown and sure. they're going to give you that, uh, those instructions. So do you want to try again? Do you want to try yes, that one? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead, and make the, go ahead and make the ground call. Uh, okay. Actually, go ahead and taxi to the, go ahead and taxi the ramp like we talked about. Okay, and sure. Then make the okay. ground call. Sounds good. That's another thing I have to get used to is like where I'm supposed to park in all these different airports. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is what uh, that is what Google is for. Uh -huh. That is what uh, for flight is for. If you've got it, uh, yeah. Sky Vector, Soon. all of those. Uh, do your homework ahead of time so you know where you're going. Always, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, and if you just name the FBO, if you name yeah. the FBO where where you're supposed to go, they'll they'll get you there. Well, and it was I did I only did um, uncontrolled at my um, mm -hmm. yeah my other ones, so they don't tell you where to go. So I had to like kind of wing it I, I figured it out but it was good it was all right but it was just something I hadn't quite thought of I guess so yeah uh okay, okay. Columbia ground Cessna hotel tree one delta one ready to taxi with uniform three one delta one uh, Columbia ground uh where are you at whatever ramp I'm at <laughs> on the ramp okay um, okay. I would I would know uh, that in real yeah. life. So so yeah. So tell them where you are. Okay. Tell them what tell them where you are. You say say I'm at uh, Atlantic Aviation or whatever it is there. Okay. Um, with with uniform, uh, ready ready for tax for takeoff, and then also state your intention when you okay. when you call up. Ready so, for so taxi and takeoff. What you would like. Uh, and uh, your intention, like, are you leaving the pattern? Are you staying? Uh, close traffic. Close traffic. Are you, uh, okay. Okay. So, 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 so the phraseology would be something like uh, Cessna three one uh, or what? I'm sorry. Columbia ground. Uh, one delta one um, at at Atlantic Aviation um, with uniform uh, with like a with like closed traffic. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Who you are, uh, of course. What you are. You said Cessna. Um, what you are. Who you are and uh, where you are and what you'd like to do. Okay. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, Columbia Ground, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One at the ramp or whatever it is, uh, requesting uh, closed traffic. And uh, uh, with uh, uniform, Cessna sorry. Delta One, do you have the, what's that? With uniform. <laughs> With uniform, okay. All right, I was gonna say, did you have the yeah. uh, current weather? All right, uh, Cessna One Delta One, uh, taxi to runway two via Alpha Three Alpha. Alpha Three Alpha. All right, uh, taxiing runway two. Alpha Three Alpha via Alpha Three Alpha. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One. Which one is? <laughs> Again, I would have okay, all of um, this. Yeah, yeah, that is. Um, is it the one it's over? The one I think right in front of you there, not the that one, one or right. the other one. So to my left. It's the one in in front of you to the left. Over oh, right there. Nope, nope, left. That is left. Yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> the uh, that Alpha Two there that you came off on is actually closed in real life. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you, got you. So, Good uh, to know. Now that it, now that I've got the chart up. And Okay, got you. <laughs> <laughs> You're more prepared than I am. <laughs> oh, alpha 3, Alpha, runway 2. Okay. Um, runway 2, Alpha 3, Alpha, or via Alpha 3, Alpha, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. So this bit is Alpha 3, and then I'm going on to Alpha right now.
<laughs> Track arrow went out. There we go. Am I still talking to ground? <laughs> uh, no. At, at, I at, when you get to the end of the runway, you just switch the tower. Okay. Uh, okay. Columbia when, Tower. When you are at the end of the runway, getting ready to go, you just just switch over. There is no handoff. Okay. So you you didn't tell me to switch. I just have to. <laughs> or no, you, you did, just, and I missed it. Okay. It on your own. That's one okay. of the weird quirks of ATC. Ugh. So from tower to ground, you do get switched over, but from ground to tower, you don't. That's correct. Okay, good to know. All right, so Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, holding short runway 2. Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, clear for takeoff runway 2, make left close traffic. Left close traffic, cleared for takeoff runway 2, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. said that wrong. It's actually make left close traffic clear for takeoff. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Ugh. My rudder pedals are sliding forward and getting stuck in things. <laughs> okay. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Oh, just nail them to I've the floor. I've had so many landings where I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I guess this is going to be fun. Right. Oh, gosh. <sighs> all right, here we go. You know what? I'm going to adjust. Mm. There we go. Okay. And we're going. We were cleared for takeoff, so we just go. And we're at 500, apparently. Columbia Tower, uh, Warrior 48 Delta, five miles to the northwest, inbound for touch and go. With to form. Warrior 48 Delta, Columbia Tower, enter a left downwind, runway two. Traffic is a uh, Cessna 150 ta uh, de departing midfield uh, on the upwind. Enter left downwind, runway two and we have the traffic for Warrior 40 Delta. And Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, continue on your upwind. I will call your crosswind. Uh, continuing on upwind, we'll wait for the call. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And Cessna 1 Delta 1, traffic at your 9 o'clock is a Piper Warrior uh, on the downwind for runway two. Traffic in sight, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Cessna 31 Delta 1, uh, follow the Archer. Go ahead and turn crosswind and follow the Archer on down, or the Warrior on downwind. Turning crosswind, following the Archer, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Warrior 48 Delta cleared for the option runway two. Cleared for the option runway two, Warrior 48 Delta. I like talking to 
myself. <laughs> this is fun. I like it is. It feels. I gotta. I gotta. Real. If I start adding more aircraft, I'm gonna have to keep track, and that's not gonna be good. <laughs> what? Like literally works. writing them down on my scratch pad. <laughs> It does. It works for me because it feels real. And Columbia Regional Golden Eagle 55 Tango is on a five mile straight in runway two on the approach. Golden Eagle 55 Tango. 5-5 five, five, Tango, clear to land runway 2, clear to land runway 2, 5-5 five, five, Tango, Archer, or, or, correction, Warrior 4A Delta, uh, continue downwind, I will call your base, we will call the base 4A Delta, that golden eagle, eagle just popped up out of nowhere, <laughs> okay, got it, <laughs> And Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, continue following that uh, warrior on the downwind. Uh, he is following the Golden Eagle on a two mile five mile. Following warrior on the downwind, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Warrior 4A Delta, uh, traffic is over the numbers. Uh, you can go ahead and turn your base. And uh, clear to land runway 2. Roger, clear to land 2, 4A Delta. Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, continue to follow the Warrior on uh, turning left base now and clear, to la or clear for the option uh, to runway 2. Following Warrior on base. Cleared for the option, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. And Golden Eagle 55 five Tango, uh, turn left Alpha 3 to uh, straight ahead to the ramp and uh, 1 2 1.9. 1 left Alpha 3 to the ramp, 1 2 1.9. 1 Golden Eagle 55 five Tango. Warrior 4A Delta, uh, make left on Alpha 1 if you can make it, and uh, contact ground 4.89. Uh, unable Alpha 1, 4A Delta. 4A Delta, make a left on Alpha. Cancel that, continue straight ahead. Uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1, go around. Oh, going around Cessna Hotel. Three one Delta one. And uh, Warrior Four A Delta. Warrior Four A Delta, turn left Bravo and contact ground point nine. Left Bravo, contact ground point nine.
Columbia Tower, Baron 3-1 Mike, uh, holding short runway 2, ready for takeoff. Baron 31 Mike, Columbia Tower. Cleared for takeoff runway two. Uh, make right crosswind. Right crosswind clear for takeoff runway two. Baron 31 Mike. Columbia Tower, uh, Seminole X-ray 41 is uh, ready for takeoff. Will be left close traffic uh, at, at runway two. Uh, last aircraft calling. Say, say your call sign again. That was Seminole X-ray 41. Seminole X-ray 41, line up and wait runway two. Uh, traffic is departing Baron. Line up and wait runway two. Seminole X-ray 41. Baron 31 Mike, uh, leaving my airspace, change depart departure frequency. Roger, 31 Mike, departure solo. Seminole X ray 41, cleared for takeoff runway 2. Cleared for takeoff runway 2. Seminole X ray 41. Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, cleared. Option runway two. Cleared for the option runway two. Cessna Hotel Three One Delta. And Seminole X-ray 41, uh, you're number two behind a Cessna, just about over the numbers, uh, clear for the option runway. Clear for the option runway two, X-ray 41, and we have that traffic. And Cessna 1 Delta 1, are you full stop? <laughs> so, yes, full stop. Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Okay, Cessna 31 Delta 1, uh, contact Ground Point Niner. Ground Point Niner, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1, thank you. Contacts Ground. Uh, Columbia Ground, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1 on Alpha 2. I'm on Alpha One. Uh, Alpha One, uh, Cessna Hotel. Wait, I already said that. On Alpha One, uh, requesting taxi to parking. <gasps> hey, B Squad. 
Sorry, that was intense. <laughs> Cessna 1, Delta 1, uh, taxi via Alpha 1, Alpha, Alpha 4 to the ramp. Alpha 1, Alpha 4 to the ramp. Cessna, Hotel 3, 1, Delta 1. And 3, 1, Delta 1, taxi Alpha 1, Alpha, Alpha 4 to the ramp. Alpha 1, Alpha 4 to the ramp. Cessna, Hotel 3, 1, Delta 1. Charlie Foxtrot Cessna is my one, ATC tonight. Cessna, <laughs> three, Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, correction, taxi Alpha 1 to, to taxiway Alpha to taxiway Alpha 4 to the ramp. Taxing Alpha 1, Alpha, Alpha 4 to the ramp. Cessna Hotel 3 1 Delta 1. 1 Delta 1, read back correct. And, and they won't necessarily say read back correct. They, they, it's just uh, you, you missed alpha in there. You said alpha 1 to alpha 4. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, Got times. you. Okay. And, well, and they, they will make you say it right. Right. No, of so, course. Yep, yep. So they'll, they'll, uh, they'll just say it again until you get it right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> I have no idea which one is alpha 4. Uh, I can say something like that or for that, though. Well, oh, shoot. Actually... <laughs> You can't. You can't. <laughs> Actually, technically, I was going to fly back to the other airport. <laughs> so we might have if to do it one more to, time. If you want to, just go ahead and, um, just go ahead and, and uh, say request. Uh, so, okay. So at, at that point, if, if you are like, you know, you change your mind, you're on the taxiway, say um, something like Columbia Ground, uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1 uh, request. Okay. Columbia, well, uh, would I still sit there on the taxiway? Probably not. I would continue taxiing. Cont right. No, no. You want to continue. You want to continue. You That's what I figured. Okay. Necessarily. Just go okay. slow. And make your make your request. Okay. Uh, Columbia Ground says no hotel three one Delta one request. Uh. So uh, Cessna three one Delta one uh, Columbia Ground, go ahead. Uh, Columbia Ground, Cessna hotel three one Delta one request uh, departure to the east. Uh, Cessna 31 Delta 1 Roger. Um, continue taxi standby. Continue now taxi standby. <laughs> Cessna Delta 31 Delta Kay. 1. <laughs> you follow that guy? Nice. I follow that guy too. Yeah. <laughs> Cessna 31 Delta 1, um, we're going to have you turn left on Alpha 3 taxi via the ramp uh, to Delta. That's That's two right there. The right. next one. Okay, next one. Okay. Yep. And and we're you're gonna. I want you to taxi uh, southbound on the ramp to Delta. That's the last taxiway. Uh, and hold. Hold uh, before Alpha, and I'll give you further instructions. Okay. Alpha two taxiing via the ramp to Delta, holding short of Alpha. Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One. Cessna 31 Delta 1, taxi Alpha 3, southbound on the ramp to Delta and, and hold short of Alpha. Alpha 3, you said alpha two, northbound yep. on the ramp. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I have to go the other way. Nope, Sorry, nope. what did I you say? Go south. You said northbound. Did I? S oh, nope, okay. I said south. You said south, I heard north. Shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gosh darn it. All right. So and, and once you're on the ramp, you're in a non movement area. Right. Okay. So you're technically but Chill. but since he gave you an instruction exactly. on the ramp, yeah you want to you want to follow that instruction okay so it was alpha 3 southbound on the ramp so keep to on going delta. all the way to the end of the ramp yep end of the ramp to delta delta is the last taxiway hold short of alpha cessna hotel tree one delta one <laughs> and again in real life i will have the diagram and I will have memorized it, and I will have oh, it in absolutely. front of me. Yep. But this is—I mean, this is literally how things go, too. And right. It, and if there I if there is any sort of question, if there is an error or anything like that, this is what you do. You know, you 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 oh, say gosh, you say request if you want to change your mind or or whatever it is. Don't mind me, ground. I'll just be a little bit. Hang on. <laughs> Cessna three one Delta one. Do you need equipment? I need equipment that doesn't slide around under my feet, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. 
When they, and they, remember, when they say equipment, they're meaning the uh, the airport oh, rescue yeah. firefighter right, trucks. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, no. My usual my usual is taxiing on grass, so I'm used to this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cut everybody a break who uses rider pedals in this game. The the, the taxi dynamics are so messed up. It's not even. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. I get it. Ugh. Cessna 3 with Delta 1 give way to the Seminole uh, from the right. Uh, once he's clear, go ahead and taxi via Alpha to runway 2. Giving way to Seminole from the right and then taxiing. Say again. <laughs> taxi via Alpha to runway 2 after, after the Seminole is uh, passed. Taxiing via Alpha to runway two after the Seminole. Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Yep, the Seminole X ray 4 1. The uh, Cessna to your left will be holding position. Um, continue taxi via Alpha Alpha 3 to the ramp. Alpha Alpha 3 to the ramp. X ray 4 1. Okay, let's say he's passed. Picked a good airport. This is this is a uh, this is a decent little easy airport with a couple runways. And good, because I just scrolled in and tried to find a uh, basically E close <laughs> to Delta. <laughs> and Cessna uh, one Delta one, uh, say direction of departure. Uh, departing east, Cessna Hotel Three One Delta One. Cessna One Delta One. Right. So ground at that point is will coordinate with local, the tower, okay. and they'll uh, let you let them know where you're going, okay. and uh, the tower will sequence at that point. Okay. Attention all aircraft, uh, ATIS Victor is current. Wind is 030 at 5. Temperature minus 2, dew point minus 1, 1, altitude 3030. Zero, zero. <laughs> oh my. You're in the grass again, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just ready to get back to my home airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh. oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on. We're almost there. Let's do this. Okay. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, switches to Columbia Tower. Columbia Tower, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, holding short runway 2. And uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1, just confirm you are an eastbound departure. Uh, confirming eastbound departure, Cessna Hotel 3 1 Delta 1. Cessna 1 Delta 1, cleared for takeoff runway 2, fly, or, or, uh, let, me, let, me, let me correct that. Cessna 1 Delta 1, uh, fly runway heading, cleared for takeoff runway 2. Fly runway heading, cleared for takeoff runway 2, Cessna Hotel 3 1 Delta 1.
Columbia Regional Traffic, Skyhawk to Tango Bravo is eight miles to the northeast inbound for full stop, Columbia. I actually didn't mean to repeat that. That was uh, me with my eye control there. Okay. Ses or Skyhawk to Tango Bravo, uh, Columbia Tower, uh, make right downwind runway two. Right downwind runway two. Skyhawk to Tank Bravo. And Cessna 1, Delta 1, uh, turn on course for two. Uh, turning on course, Cessna Hotel True 1, Delta 1. Skyhawk 2, Tango Bravo, uh, traffic at your 3 o'clock, 4 miles, is a Cessna 150. Out, out of, sorry, out of uh, 2,000 feet, climbing. Looking for traffic uh, to Tango Bravo. Cessna 1, Delta 1, traffic at your 2 o'clock, 4,000 feet descending, uh, is a Cessna Skyhawk. Traffic in sight, Cessna Hotel 31, Delta 1. Cessna 31, Delta 1, Roger, uh, leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Thank you very much. The Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's kind of fun, but it's also stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a little bit, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Again, I am. Most of what I've been doing, basically all of it, is the uncontrolled stuff. So it's like, okay, th this is okay. But then having to deal with other people yeah. and people telling me what to do and oh good lord <laughs> oh my goodness now there's a couple things there's a couple things you can do um when you make your uh, initial call up and you're in tell them your intentions you can you can to ask them for um traffic advisories or vfr even vfr flight following if you have your uh, destination on hand yeah um and, and so that can be really helpful too because then they will uh, give you a squawk code and a departure frequency, and they'll hand you off to departure. This area actually has a, 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 a Tracon. Okay. So, uh, Mizzou, Mizzou uh, approach. And, sure. Uh, they would, uh, so when you're departing then, you would say um, your initial call up on ground would be something like uh, Cessna 1 Delta 1 at uh, whatever FDO. Um, eastbound departure with Victor would like VFR traffic advisories, um, and they would say, Cessna 1 Delta 1, Roger, squawk 3247, and departure free frequency would be 134575. Okay. 3457 and 135575, or 134575, and, and then once you get to the runway, the uh, tower will just clear you to take off, and then once you take off, they'll give you your on turn or your on course or a vector or whatever they're going to do and then once they uh, clear you they'll say uh, instead of saying uh, frequency change approved they'll say contact uh, approach on 134575 so what would okay. your initial initial call up with an approach be? okay so so let's say right now let's say you let's say you got a lot of traffic around you and okay. you're, you're getting nervous because you've got airplanes all over the place. You just saw one pass by you by about a mile, and you're not talking to them. Uh -huh. So what would your call-up be if you're just calling in the blind? Uh, which airspace are we talking about? Are we just saying... Mizzou, uh, Mizzou Approach. Mizzou Approach, Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1, <laughs> and then just wait? <laughs> or... Yeah, you could do that. Yep. Okay. Um, and, and then... Uh, 
Cessna 31 Delta 1, uh, Mizzou approach, go ahead. Uh, Cessna, or Mizzou approach, Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1. Well, I guess what are my, what would my intentions be? Are, like, for this landing coming in? Yeah, it just, I mean, it, so, and that's, that's the whole thing. What is your intention? Right. right. So if you are just trying to get through the airspace safely, yeah. Just say I would like. Um, we are heading to uh, Elton Hem Hensley. We just like uh, some traffic advisories uh, along the way. Now that's a really close one, so probably. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna say you're 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 <laughs> too close to the airport for these to change. Right, uh, right. If you're going a little bit farther though, that would absolutely be yeah. You, you know, if you're going to like Jeff City or or uh, or further out, they would they would give you that squad code at this time and they would say say altitude okay they, so they oh would say yeah. something like um, Cessna 1 Delta 1 um, squawk uh, 3274 uh, altimeter is 3030 and say altitude am, am I supposed to be uh, saying that back now well you could <laughs> I, mean, okay. I know you're coming into the other airport already. So. Yeah. But just for practice. Yeah. So, I mean, I would. Can you say it one more time? <clears throat> say where I yeah, am and what uh, I want. Yeah, right. Right, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Where you, who you are, where you are, what you want. Um, so you would you'd say something like, um, again, just to get their attention, what you did was fine. They would, you, the, that first call up saying just uh, Cessna 1, Delta 1, and then they would respond. Um, Set to one delta one Mizzou approach. Say uh, Mizzou approach. Set to one delta one is uh, seven miles east of uh, Columbia Regional at two thousand five hundred. We'd like uh, VFR uh, traffic advisories to whatever airport. Right. And then they'd say um, set to one delta one uh, altimeter is three zero three zero squawk three two seven four. Okay. And then, then and I would then add say my squawk. That, and then once, yeah, once you've tuned that and done that, they would say uh, radar contact. They'd, so they'd say uh, set to one delta one radar contact, uh, 8,200. And um, and that would be it basically. You don't have and, and, and you don't have to do anything until you know once you get out of their range or within range of your destination, they'll just tell you frequency change blue. Yeah. They'll say, okay. Uh, they might say like something like no observed traffic between you the airport uh, switch, uh, change of advisory frequency improved or something like um, you know one observed target between you and the airport uh, you know change of advisory frequency improved so okay. at that point that's just giving you a heads up that hey that there's somebody out there that they're not talking to right um, and uh, they may give you an altitude on that or whatever but uh, and, and a direction but uh, you know you're basically on your own yeah. See, that actually would have been helpful on my long cross country because I was watching the uh, I was watching on Flight Aware, and there was a couple like there was one kind of coming at me that way and one coming at me that way at different altitudes. But I was watching and I was looking and nobody was talking, and I figured afterwards <laughs> I should have said something, um, but then I did. I kind of adjusted my course and everything, and eventually got the one in sight. The other one passed, and the other one I got in sight. And then I got onto my upwind, and then the person talked, and they were doing a straight in to the one that I was going into. So that oh, was. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was kind of scary at the time, but I figured it out, and this is the worst pattern ever. Hmm. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my ADSB and four flight and everything. Well, I have the <laughs> sure. ADSB, but I don't have my iPad yet. But it worked. It's pretty, uh, I'm going to say nifty. Yeah. Uh, because I can. I'm old. And, uh, <laughs> I like saying nifty. The word nifty works. Yeah. So Whatever word works is nifty. not too old. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness now, gracious. Now, here's an, here's an example of where the Pappy is too far down the runway. Uh, it's, or those are Bassies, but. Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just trying not to crash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Elton Henley. 
um, <laughs> whatever my thing is. <laughs> Traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One is heading into the bushes off of whatever runway this is. <laughs> Back taxiing again on whatever runway this is. See, and that's the thing is this one is it only has I think the one taxiway on the end, which is mighty inconvenient. Um, yep. Ugh. Yep, this one you would be uh, back taxiing. It's just got to turn out at each end, and then, well, the north end has got the uh, taxiway to the ramp. North end. So I am going to the north end. That's good. Yep, you're just taking the shortcut. Yeah. Well, I'm making it back to the runway. There I'll is finish a grass runway right. out there to your left. What's that? I, I, I was going to finish it out correctly, but, I mean, at this point, do we care? <laughs> eh. Oops, lights. Yep. There is a lighted grass runway. Uh, 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 there we go. Excellent. Uh, oh, and I'm supposed to... Uh, okay. Elton Henley traffic Cessna Hotel 31 Delta 1 crossing... Oh, gosh. What was it? 422? Yeah, sure. We'll just say that. Oh, cleaning up the airplane. Yeah, it, so this one that's made asphalt in the sim is actually grass in reality no there's there's three runways there's three there's, there's oh, two, okay. two two paved and and one uh one grass okay we're gonna pretend that this is my hangar an excellent Ugh. um yeah, yeah that now looks about correct <laughs> are are you are you taxing that fast for brevity's sake yes <laughs> i know i'm okay. not a race car <laughs> um, I, I do. I've I used to have it. No, our director of safety would literally, would literally, watch you from his office, and your flight instructor would get a nasty call. It was that that didn't look like a uh, slow jog to me. Oh uh, my god! Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. He was a he was a trip, but really good at what he did. I and I mean it is. It's it is something. Yes, I have. I had to actually get out of it because it does. It seems really slow, but it is. It's <laughs> nice. It's nice, slow, gentle. But no, I don't have any issues with that. It's super chill at my um, where I take off from. So I don't have those issues. Nice. <laughs> okay. No, and, and the taxing in the sim is so messed up. Well, anyway, yeah. that was fun. That Thanks was for, uh... fun. Thank you for coming on here and helping me out because I absolutely need it. <laughs> and absolutely. it did. It, Anytime. Yeah, it felt, yeah, the go around that you threw at me and all the other traffic and stuff. I'm hoping for no traffic when I actually do it, but I feel like I will be Good better luck. prepared. <laughs> it might, it might work out okay, but yeah, it, I, it will. I'll be better prepared um, for Like I always say, it's got a it. control tower for a reason. Right, right. And yeah. that, that's because it meets a certain amount of uh, traffic per year. <laughs> sure. Hopefully all of that per year so, is every other day of the year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh. oh. But yes. So, yes. Thank you so much. That was that was fantastic. And it did. It felt. I, no I do. I'll I think I'm going to feel better. Screen. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And bye. Awesome. <laughs> yep. See ya. Um, I guess I'll get off of that then too quick. Ah, what am I on? Where do I go? I'm lost. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Okay, we're just gonna go like that. And uh, <laughs> where am I? Well, while I'm figuring this out, that was um Delta uh towered landings, so that I can get those checked off hopefully this week. Uh, featuring ATC by Charlie Foxtrot. Definitely go follow him. Great stream. A lot of help. But, of course, always make sure you have an instructor. Just got to put that in there. But it is. It's always a lot of fun and very informative. Um, and, yeah, that, that, was, that was great. Very helpful. And hopefully I will be prepared. And hopefully this week I'll get all of my requirements checked off. And we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> oh, everything's happening kind of fast. So we're preparing as much as possible before actually getting into everything.
going to be a busy week, uh, but it's going to be a good week, hopefully. The weather's starting to get a little ish, but hopefully it'll cooperate just long enough. <sighs> so yes, Tower Landings, hopefully done and in the books. And um, yeah, so that was earlier than I usually do in the week. And the next week, I don't know. At some, at, I'm thinking closer to Christmas. I want to do Christmas Carol. And depending on what else I need to work on flying wise and what time I have uh, during the next couple of weeks, we'll see what happens sim wise. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so lots of studying to do, lots of, well, not lots, I'm getting close with requirements to check off, and then we'll be moving into mock check rides, and we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> Thank you, have a great week, you too, um, and yeah, have a great stream tomorrow. Tomorrow, Charlie's streaming, it's going to be awesome. I won't be able to make it, unfortunately, probably, uh, I'll let you know otherwise, and yeah. So I can throw you over to somebody if you guys want. Otherwise, I'm heading to bed. <laughs> so I could probably let you go your separate ways. Uh, and yeah. So yeah, if you ever got lost and found their way here or found their way back, thanks for being here. So much fun. So absolutely helpful. And next, next one, well, at some point. See you around soon, uh, wherever that will be. Have a great whatever it's going to be for you. And yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Good night. And thanks. <laughs> Bye.